it's Thursday, June 11th, and my buddy Kevin D. Turner showed up, and I had a conversation with him a couple of days ago, and I said, dude, I need your help to have this discussion. Kevin D. Turner, good to have you on here, buddy. Hey, Teddy, I, I appreciate being here, and I'm, I'm excited about this subject. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, now make sure we're talking about the subject that we want to talk about publicly, not the subject we were talking about privately, because we don't need to talk about beer on LinkedIn. <laughs> <laughs> not every day. Yeah. All right. Here's the conversation. Kevin and I are going to talk about two things. It's all about LinkedIn posts. This is all about content and engagement. That's, just, that's, that's all it's about, content and engagement. But there's two types of posts that I see people doing pretty regularly that Kevin and I are going to talk about. The first one is called, in my words, nice post. And we'll define that in a minute. And the second one is what I refer to as useful post. And we'll define that in a minute. So Kevin, let's talk about nice post. If I use the term nice post, what does that mean to you? Uh, to me, it, it's kind of a, a exposure or, or a kind of taste of what your life is, right? Yeah. Went to the park, swang my kids on the swings, uh, took my dog for a walk, right? Those are nice posts. They don't really change my life. Probably didn't change your life, yeah. right? But they're nice and they're a little insight into Teddy yeah. in, in that sense or anybody who's putting these out. I think they're a little too easy and I think yeah. people do them too often. Yeah. And we have a lot of friends out there. Yeah. And so we see a post from we want to, we want to, contribute to the post, then all of a sudden that becomes kind of part of our brand. You know, it's not, it's not Teddy, the, the LinkedIn influencer, it's Teddy, the dog guy, <laughs> right? Which is not a bad thing, but does that move you forward to your goals on LinkedIn? Yeah. And so to me, that's somewhat of the danger of too many nice posts. And I, I probably, and I'm, I might be a little, on the bad side, maybe, maybe I'm not nice. I'd probably do maybe two, three nice posts a year where they're something like that, right? And it's very rare. It's usually when I run into somebody that I've known forever on, on LinkedIn and all of a sudden we're in real life. Yeah. That's a nice post. Yeah. You know, those are probably the only ones I really do. Yeah. But, but you do them very infrequently. Yeah. Very, very infrequently. Now, now here's the other side of that. The other side of that is that we get sucked in to these posts because they're more often than not, they're they're from our friends. Yeah. So our friends, not I'm not just saying our our peers, I'm talking about our friends, our network that we really like, you know, the that lawyer friend of mine, that, you know, that uh, you know, district attorney or the uh, outreach specialist or the, you know, the retired folks. They will post it and we feel, I don't know if it's a obligation or a desire or somewhere around there to participate in these. Mm -hmm. And so as we're doing the proverbial scroll through LinkedIn, we'll like, oh, Betty, I'm so happy for you, comment. Uh, Steve, I agree with what you said about, you know, Jimmy's boy graduating from kindergarten reply <laughs> and, you know and then then we also do the other like 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 support support smile smile you know what's the other one uh giggle giggle and so mm. then what happens is our in, our uh, activity page is overwhelmed with us participating in being nice and then LinkedIn thinks that's all we want to be, yeah. right? And so yeah, they so, yeah. of them. people we don't even know being nice. <laughs> so <laughs> then we're supposed to start saying nice things about them as well. And and it it is a kind of a, a, a snowball effect that we can get into. And I, I will say that, you know, I, there are people who do four or five of these a week. And I kind of fall off following them. <laughs> because I, I can't keep up with it. I can't comment in that sense. Yeah. I'm a nice guy, but maybe I'm not super nice. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll, 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 we'll get you a certificate that you put in your profile uh, to validate that Kevin D. Turner is a super nice guy. He just doesn't have time 
to on as he's working to participate in being nice on all of that, what I refer to as nice content. All right. So I totally blew away my uh, my timing. Let's go talk about let's go talk about useful posts. Now, if I say a useful post, what does that what does that mean to you? It means you're bringing value to the table, right? Whether you're commenting or whether you're the actual poster, right, the, the content creator, but you're bringing that value to the table. And to me, if if it's something that you've created or that you have knowledge of. And that's what you're presenting. To me, that is a more useful post than when people share posts from other people and have even if they have a comment on it, right? Yeah. I think that's one of the reasons that LinkedIn just recently has reduced the size of the image when you do that, right? Because you're not giving brand new value to the table. You're kind of sharing somebody else's stuff. Maybe you have an opinion on it, but I think even LinkedIn says too much, right? bring the real value to the table that that you know that we know is yours in that sense and i think that's what i would i guess term as useful it's going to change somebody's life in some way to be better and you're openly sharing that yeah i'm with you man um at the end of the day i always say um i i use the term <clears throat> um a true t r u h e transparent relevant useful honest and e is engaging educational entertaining so when you uh and i get it entertaining is fine you know a nice posts are fine but if you want to use linkedin as a business tool then you've got to bring value to the table and yeah. I'm, I'm with you as well there's there's some value in bringing value that you learn from seth godin or i learned it from you know you know, a Vivek Murthy or the FBI or whatever. I, when I bring that to the table, I, I become, um, I can become a benefit because I brought it to the table. But when I bring my own ideas, philosophies, best practices, experiences, and my own stories, uh, relevant and useful to my target audience, whoever that is, and whatever that means to you as a LinkedIn member, that is a whole lot, a uh, whole much, much more, I'm looking for the word, much more beneficial and powerful piece of content. Um, because it, it helps it helps grow my brand because then they look at me and go, damn, that dude's been doing this. He's been here, learned that, achieved that, et cetera, et cetera. So, so bringing that content is important. But Ken, I think you and I have talked about this before. There's not enough hours in the day for us to create new content. Did, did we already have that conversation? You know? <laughs> so, so if you want to continue to use LinkedIn content for building your brand, you've got to participate in the conversations around <laughs> useful content. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, hey, there's another piece of content that we talked about that I absolutely hope. I know you don't do it. And I, well, well, let me, before we talk about that, there is value in when you create content for you to throw down a challenge or a call to action. Maybe one of your styles is here's my signature. If you think what I just talked about is important, here's how you get a hold of me. Yeah. Um, th that's beneficial, but there's a, there's a, there's a line we shouldn't cross. And that line that we should not cross is every piece of content being about me, 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 my business, my business, my business. Th that that's called throw up. Yeah. And, and and nobody wants to get on LinkedIn and get thrown up all over with me, me, me. And those posts die. Yeah. yeah. Very quickly because nobody wants to be pitched constantly. Yeah. Whether it's pitching yourself or your products or your company or whatever it is, nobody really wants that because they don't believe it. First of all, they get tired of it. LinkedIn sees that immediately mm -hmm. and just says, you know what, let's just kind of push that down. Yeah. So it's a it's a bad process to get involved with anyway. So, you know, be aware of it. Uh, if it looks spammy, we treat it like spam, right? Kevin, thanks a lot, man. Useful post, uh, excuse me, nice post. Okay, every now and then. Useful posts, there's where the magic is. All right, buddy. Appreciate you, man. Let's let's make sure we say hi another day. Take care, man. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.